When I was in sixth grade, we learned the word gordo in Spanish class, which translates to fat. And then everyone started calling me gordo as a nickname. That has nothing to do with this video, but I feel like it sets the tone rather well. Now I've studied a lot of these quitting videos, fired videos, leaving BuzzFeed videos, and I don't know what kind of take to take this with. Do I go with the sadness? Do I cry? Do I start black and white? Do I play sad piano music? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about why I left Rock Guy Rocky. <sighs> no, it doesn't feel real. I gotta really get into character. Today I'm gonna talk about something really hard. <sighs> Why I left Rock Guy Rocky. And that's hard to understand, okay? This is a lot harder than I thought. I wanna talk about how me and Rye Guy Rocky split up. Not a breakup, we weren't dating, but we're not working together. It's been months, did you even notice? Did you even know that I'm not on the channel anymore? No? I only got a couple of tweets, so I wouldn't doubt it. But let's just drag this out a little bit. Let me post my story. Let me tell my truth. <sighs> So if you guys didn't know, Rye Guy Rocky started a channel called Rye Guy about a year ago. And I was asked to be the cameraman. The guy, the man, the myth, the guy with the camera. There was just so many good memories. Montage of memories. I don't know why Ryan had to call me in at 8 in the morning. There's no reason. No one's here. Ryan, it's 8 in the morning. About six months into that channel, me and Rye Guy decided to split up. It was a very clean breakup. It was very sweet. And am I mad that they replaced me? <laughs> I hold no grudges. This guy replaced me. The man in the Spider-Man costume, he replaced me. Why do I have this printed out? Well, they say hold your uh, friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> but seriously, I have no grudges, no hard feelings. Even though this is how they announced me being gone. All right, is this is this the right address? Yep, replacing Bice, Bice, T Tyson, I think? Tyson, yeah, first day. Oh, first day on the job, just uh, come on, gotta make a f good, f good first impression. I just thought it would be kind of weird if I just came to this channel and never talked about the other stuff that I was doing. So I figured, hey, post this video and let people know that Rye Guy Rocky has his own real life channel and so does Megan and Aviator. You guys should check it out because both of those channels are producing awesome content and Zagans I'm actually working on, so check them out. I also wanted to make this video because I wanted to tell people that I'm gonna be posting on this channel, but the first video I'm doing is very close to home because I'm pretty sure my house is haunted. And I'm not talking about I'm Jay Station, my girlfriend's dead, the house is haunted. I'm talking about that me and my wife live in a house that is definitely haunted. I have clips, beyond clips, of my cat acting very strange. What is it, Kohiba? thousands of dollars worth of ghost equipment. Literally ghost hunting equipment. I have thousands of dollars worth. I've spent my money very poorly. But I want to start using that stuff and proving to everyone that thinks I'm a nut job that it exists. It does. But yeah, hopefully this has opened it up a bit and we squashed some beefs. I have no beefs. Seriously, uh, the guy that they hired, Logan, no beefs, man. I have none. I'm super... Super excited that you're working on the channel that I help grow. No beefs. None. Oh man, God, people are actually gonna think I have a beef because I ripped the paper. I'm trying to be dramatic. I'm trying to have fun, but I can see why this looks like sociopath uh, stuff. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna cancel this out. I'm not, I didn't do that. But the next video that you're gonna see on this channel is a ghost hunting video. And if you're not into that kind of stuff, I beg you to try watching it once because in proper life, we have done ghost hunting videos before. And I feel like this one is gonna be right up your alley. But yeah. I'll see you next time.